Hey, friends and family, I have another word of encouragement for you today. I want to talk to you from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 about the race of faith. Let's read what the writer of Hebrews has to say to us today. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So the great cloud of witnesses, let's walk through this, refers to those who have died and gone on to be with the Lord. So our friends, our family, uh, different people that we've known. So in other words, these men, women, and children are up there and they're cheering us on. They're, they're, they're cheering us on. They're saying, look, let's continue to fight this fight. Let's continue to run this race. Let's not be distracted. Let's not be pulled here and there. So they're really encouraging us to move on. So there are a few things that I want to draw out of this passage of scripture to really illustrate what the writer of Hebrews is telling us. So he instructs us to do four things. Number one, he tells us to lay aside every weight. What does he mean by that? That's just any weight, anything that would be a distraction. So as I, as I illustrate this, just to kind of give you an example, this is a weight. So there are things in our lives that, are, that could be weighing us down. There may be things in your life that are weighing you down. And you want to lay those things aside because they will hinder you from running the race. The second thing that uh, the writer of Hebrews tells us to do is to to lay aside sin. So in other words, sin simply means to miss the mark. And these things are designed to hinder your spiritual progress and derail you in your walk with God. So it's important to lay aside those weights and lay aside sin. Find, number three, he says, run with endurance. Run with endurance. In order to run with endurance, guess what you have to do? You have to lay aside weights. So let's go back to our illustration of this. Imagine if you were running in a track meet, okay? And you've got this weight tied around your ankle. Think about this. It's tied around your ankle and you're trying to run. It is impossible to run in a marathon and have a weight tied around your ankle. Likewise, you and I cannot run the race of faith and have things holding us down. So what are some of those weights? It could be distractions. It could be the cares of this world. It could be um, pride is, is, is a weight. You know, unforgiveness is a weight. Uh, in anything outside of the word of God, it's not always sin because sin is a weight, but then you have those things that simply distract you from your focus, distract you from serving God. And so running the race of faith requires us to run with endurance. So in other words, running with endurance means that quitting can never be an option. Quitting can never be an option. So you've got to cast off these weights so you can run. Let's look at the last point. The last point that he tells us to do is look at Jesus. Now, the word look in the Greek language uh, signifies undivided attention. It means to look away from distractions in order to fix one's gaze on an object. In this context, it means to have eyes for no one but Jesus. So in other words, in this race of faith, we are looking at Jesus just like this. It's almost like I'm thinking of the term where you have very focused vision. I'm not looking to the right. I'm not looking to the left. I'm not looking behind me. I am focused on Jesus. So that kind of attention is essential. Our success hinges on our willingness to look at and follow the example of Jesus in every area of our lives. So think about this. When you feel like giving up, you want to remember what the scripture tells us in verse two. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. 
So you and I are the reason why Jesus never gave up. He saw our redemption. He saw our salvation. So that joy caused him to endure. He had a goal to set for. Likewise, there is a joy that is set before you and I. And I challenge you to keep your eyes on Jesus and to look to God and look to your eternal reward. And as you do that, you'll be able to stay in this race, regardless of COVID-19, regardless of any other challenges that you may be facing right now. If you will focus on Jesus, you will win this race. So number one, he says, let's, let's review here. He says, lay aside every weight. Lay aside the sins that so easily ensnares us. Run with endurance the race that's set before us and look unto Jesus. Until next time, friends and family, keep living that souls alive. Oh.